What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. For this episode, I have a quick little guide on something that should help you get around Corthia a lot faster. And for you toy collectors out there, this will be particularly interesting for you. The item we'll be showcasing today is the Silver Shard Hide Whistle. This is a new toy introduced in patch 9.1, and it really makes getting around Corthia so much easier that I feel it's practically mandatory since you'll probably be sprinting back and forth around the zone due to all the random rare spawns and events popping up all over the map, to the point of making your head spin with how many there are. Up first, a quick showcasing of the Silver Shard Hide Whistle, so what it looks like and what it does. Basically, you summon the spirit of a very rambunctious shard hide named Kasha, and you'll start sprinting forward non-stop for 20 seconds at an absurdly fast speed, like twice as fast as regular mounted speed. Similar toys and items have been in the game for a very long time, as I can remember things kinda like this as far back as Mists of Pandaria. Once the 20 seconds are over though, Kasha will need a break and will move much slower for 2 minutes, like 50% or 60% mount speed so it's best to just cancel the Spirit of Kasha buff and give it a rest. This toy has an amazingly short cooldown as well at a mere 5 minutes, and being that it's a toy, it is an account-wide item that any of your characters on your account can use in any Shadowlands open world zone. So now that you've seen it, how do you get it? Well, I forgot to record this on my Rogue, so my baby Feral Druid will be getting some of the limelight today. The Silver Shardhide Whistle is located in the Marlers Overlook of Corthia, at the coordinates 4729. It's stuck in a nest up in the tree in the middle of this area, which is full of shard hides, but you can't just jump up and grab the nest or anything like that. You'll need the help of a Shardhide Alpha or a Shardhide Growler. Seeing as both of these enemies are automatically hostile, you'll have to be careful when doing this next part, as the item you'll be using can't be used if you're in combat you'll need to find one of these noxious moths sitting around the Mauler's Overlook. There's at least like 5 spawns for these, so I'll leave the coordinates in a pinned comment below and up on screen now. Once you find a noxious moth, you'll interact with it to pick it up, and this will give you a special action button. You'll need to target either a Shardhide Alpha or a Shardhide Growler and use this noxious moth on them. Once you do, you'll jump onto the Shardhide and it'll become a slow moving mount for about 35 seconds. You'll need to ram this shard hide into the tree I mentioned earlier at the court, it's 4729, and when you do, the nest will fall to the ground. Inside, you should have a nice, shiny, silver shard hide whistle waiting for you, and maybe even some other goodies. This toy is pretty amazing for getting around places quickly where you can't fly, but it does have a couple negative aspects that you'll want to be aware of. For one, as I mentioned earlier, after the 20 seconds of super speediness is up, you'll become very slow for 2 minutes. This means you'll need to remove the spirit of Kasha buff and mount up as you normally would. Thankfully, this 20 second speed buff is usually enough to get you across like two thirds of Corthia, which is pretty great. The other thing is that you can become dazed and dismounted losing this huge speed boost while you're running through things if you get hit, so be very cautious with areas with lots of enemies or ranged attackers, you know, stuff like that. This is still a fantastic item for traversing Corthia in the Maw, and especially since it's an account-wide unlock with a really short cooldown, you just gotta be a little careful when you use it. Anyways folks, I hope this video makes it a little easier to chase down those rares and stuff in Corthia, and getting to your assaults and whatnot in the Maw, as I'm sure a lot of us are doing right now. If the video was useful to you, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more WoW-related guides and tutorials and stuff like this video. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.